bring the following items to a relaxing place near a power outlet. Your foot bath system and accessories, a comfortable chair, and a table to set your machine on, much like these. A tub and liners with a towel should also be brought to the area where you will have your foot bath done. The Health and Med rolled liners go on the white tub as shown here. The Health and Med flat fitted liners are put on from the side as shown here. If you have a clear rectangular tub, liners go on the tub as shown here. Fill your tub basin with about four or five inches of water. You can use tap water, filtered, or distilled water. The array should have all of its metal coils covered with water for best results. Look at the rear of the foot bath unit. There's a switch that toggles between 110 and 120 volts, or 115 and 230 volts. If you're outside the US, Canada, or Mexico, please check online to see which voltage you use in your country. If the switch is not in the right position for your country, then use a lever such as a small flat-headed screwdriver to flip the switch. Be sure never to run the machine at 110 or 115 volts if you're in a country that uses 220 or 230 volts. It will destroy the unit. Plug the power cord into the power outlet and at the rear of the foot bath system. In this example, only one side is being used. Both sides may be used at the same time. Just be sure to use the correct buttons for the side that you are using. We're using side A and the side A buttons for this example. You can use both sides if you'd like for two different clients or family members. The infrared belt is usually used for pain relief and muscle relaxation. You can use the belt during a session, by itself, or simply not at all. If the belt is to be used, decide where to place it. The yellow corduroy material is usually placed over the waist, but it also may be used on a leg, arm, shoulder, or back. Warning: Do not use it near the heart or place it vertically along the spine, but it may go across the spine. It may be used directly on the skin or over the clothes. Wrap the fur belt around the body using the Velcro fasteners to secure it in place. The extra black Velcro extender may be added to lengthen the belt so that it will go around the waist of larger users. Warning: Never heat the belt while it is folded. This can cause overheating and cause damage to the belt. Plug the fur belt into the unit. Never unplug the belt while the unit is still powered on. Always make sure to fully power off the unit before plugging in or unplugging the infrared belt. Plug the array into the front of the foot bath system and place it in the water. Flip the power switch in the rear of the foot bath unit. After you flip the switch, the display will light up and you will hear the fan turn on. Place your feet in the water. If the fur belt is to be used, Press the A belt or B belt button. This will cause a number to appear above the FIR section on the display screen. Zero is off, one is low, two is medium, and three is high. Most detox sessions last for 30 minutes. The default treatment time is 30 minutes. If a different length of time is needed, then press the A time or B time button to change the time to somewhere between 10 and 60 minutes. The length of time remaining on the session may not be changed in the middle of the session. We recommend the use of mode 2 for most situations. You can go ahead and depress the A mode or B mode button until 2 is selected. Press the correct on off button for which side you are using. Add a tiny amount of salt, 1 8 of a teaspoon or 1 half milliliter, away from where the array is and move your feet around a little to dissolve the salt. Do not add too much salt. If you do, the alarm will sound and your unit will not work. If the alarm sounds even when you add no salt, this is commonly caused by high salt content in the tap water. Try using different water. The middle section of the display shows amps for amperage. Aim for an amperage of 1.5 to 1.7. 
If the amperage is too low, add tiny amounts of salt at a time, such as 1 8 teaspoon or 1 half milliliter, or the amount that can be pinched between a thumb and a forefinger. Away from where the array is, and move your feet around a little to dissolve the salt. Monitor the amperage for a minute and repeat if necessary. It is normal for the E, or amperage, to go up and down by 0.1 or 0.2, as shown here. This is a time lapse of a typical 30 minute foot detox session. Your foot detox session should look similar to the one shown here. Once you are done with the session, wipe and or rinse off your feet. Turn off your machine once you are finished with your session.